My name is Mike Bedford. I'm a college lacrosse coach at Rutgers University. How long have you been doing CrossFit? A uh, little under a month. Looking for an opportunity to kind of get out of my workspace. Um, looking for a fun place to just continue to fit, get fit and compete. It kind of gets a bad rap in terms of uh, outlook on the outside population as well as from the athletic training population and medical population just with people diving into movements and exercises that they're physically incapable of doing. I think the expectation has kind of been exceeded. The, uh, the foundations course was pretty awesome. Um, the coaches that are here are very much capable of saving me from myself. I'm someone that if I feel good, I like to push it even if I shouldn't. That's something that I could end up risking more and more injury as the weight gets higher and the movement gets faster and the fatigue level gets higher. So it's nice having coaches that have been able to kind of grab me from the back and slow me down when I really want to push. If, if someone said to you, hey, I want to start CrossFit, but it's too much money up front, what would you say to that person? I would tell them that over the year, it's going to all come out in the wash. If you pay $20 for a gym that you go to three times a month, or you go to some place where you're paying $300 right up front or however much the cost might be, it's going to entice you to go more often. It's going to kind of keep you honest and it's going to hold you accountable to what you're trying to do. Everybody's working hard, but at the same time, if you're going to do something that you really are into or something that you really care about, you're willing to invest in it, getting there is an investment in yourself. So the money's kind of worth it from my side. I could have totally seen myself personally hopping into class and potentially figuring it out. I don't necessarily think that I would have, over this short period of time, seen as many positive gains and I probably wouldn't be feeling as good at this point in the month. Um, with the foundations, it kind of got me to, to lock back in on some of the focuses in terms of the way that I'm going to be moving when I'm lifting, making sure that my hips and my knees and my posture is, is effective and for, the, for each movement. If I would have just dove right back in, chances are I would have pulled something or tweaked something or I wouldn't feel as good as I do right now. I personally wouldn't suggest anybody to just kind of dive into a class unless they have like an Olympic lifting background. A lot of the people that are coming in here, there's a nice mixture of, I see kids that look like they're 11, 12, 13 years old and I see people that are coming in here and they're almost set, they're 70 and up and they've all kind of gone through and they're competing with themselves. And in my mind, it's all kind of relative.